Hey guys, I thought I'd come on today and talk about, um, since it's the Transgender Day of Remembrance, uh, uh, actually it was yesterday for here because it's already 12.44 uh, a.m. on the 21st here in Japan, but for in America it's still the 20th, so I figured I'd come on today and talk a little bit about, from the industry standpoint of psychology, why the um, suicide rates are so high and what's uh, driving that. Um, in my profession, what I feel <clears throat> is driving it is two things, actually. Um, one is, in society, people always try to take from the weakest. That's how society seems to work. and. Typically, uh, most people know, a lot of transgenders are kicked out of their homes and uh, can't find work, uh, they end up living on the government dole. And because of this, um, they have to go into sex work. And they're the least wanted in society. And because of this, the government, in many cases, um, tries to take money from them. That's how the government likes to work. They take the money off of the most downtrodden. And the people with the most money pay the least taxes and are not paying almost anything. So, in Australia, um, it actually can cost as much as $30,000 just to get the right to allow your child to take tea blockers and uh, in some cases they have to go back again so that they can get the hormones and uh, pay another thirty thousand dollars and that's before they've even started their transition that sixty thousand dollars could have got them almost probably the surgery and everything that they were wanting and all of their hormones all the way till they were in their 20s but they decided to uh, take that much money from them just to allow them to get to the point where they can start taking hormones with no surgeries so they really just don't care about you and the way the psychology system is set up as well is they've set up this system where once a parent finds out that their child has problems like that, they have to prove it to everybody. Because in society, if you're trans, you're a freak. Therefore, you have to prove to me that you're a freak. And, it, and I have to make the decision whether I think you're a freak enough, even though you've lived your whole life knowing who you are. Nobody has to go to a psychologist and see them for a year to prove that they're cisgendered, do they? They don't have to go to a psychologist for a year, unless they have Christian parents, to prove that they're gay. But you do have to do that to prove you're cis, to prove that you're trans. Which doesn't make any sense to me, never has. I don't understand why you have to go to a psychologist to to do that. It doesn't make any sense, you know. Have there ever been these are these are some things that I don't understand. Has there ever been a case of someone giving their child hormones who didn't want hormones? Can you think of any news story you've heard of a child being forced to take female hormones and tea blockers or male hormones because of the parents' wishes? I haven't. So why do they make it so difficult? Why do I have to prove myself? Why does someone have to prove themselves so that they can do something in their life when you're supposed to have freedom? If you believe you are a female and that you're transgender, 
you should be able to go to a doctor, take some tests to make sure that what your levels of testosterone in your blood are, get on your male T blockers, and then you should be able to, once you're down low enough, to get your hormones. You shouldn't have to ask anybody, no matter who you are, as long as the parents sign off on it. If you're underage, if you're under the age of 18. If you're over the age of 18, then you should be, if I can buy cigarettes and beer and marijuana in some states, why can't I go get hormones? Because I can sure as hell get all kinds of toxic chemicals that are prescribed to me by, by uh, pharmacies that can kill me, but I can't get hormones and I can't get T blockers before I go spend thousands of dollars on psychologists to tell me that, I, that I'm transgender when I know that I'm transgender, that's why the fuck I came here. You know? It doesn't make any sense. But this, this is the reason why transgender suicide is so difficult. Because this breeds two things. One, it fosters the position that being transgender is somehow wrong. And it also fosters the position that being transgender costs a great deal of money. And that if you want to be transgender, you need to have money and be ready to pay. And because of this, it also fosters the position that in many cases, male to female transgenders end up being sex workers because they're forced into sex work so that they can pay for their surgeries and pay for their hormones because they're not affordable. And in the end, they say that they do this because we have to make sure that they're psychologically ready to be women. And if you feel you're cisgendered, do you have to prove to anybody that you're psychologically ready to be cisgendered? You only have to do that for being female to male or male to female. And this huge hurdle that these children have to go through and that these grown-ups have to go through, this massive weight that is lifted off their shoulders once they tell people, I'm transgender. This, this massive weight that's been lifted off their shoulders and they finally start to seek help and they come to somebody who's supposed to help them and that person tells them, I can't help you yet. You have to do this, and you have to do this, and you have to do this. And then the parents say, I can't afford to do any of that. That costs too much. And you're left in the void. And these children, in some cases, know that this is the case. So they end up not doing any of it. And they're scared to go out. This, the, these concepts actually foster the religious beliefs that transsexuals are wrong <clears throat> and that they're abominations to God. So this fosters a hate in society. I've talked about before how I think that the T should leave LGBT because the lesbians and gays don't care about you. They use you as a sounding board. We're in, the, we're in the news right now because of Caitlyn Jenner. So they're using us to try to further their agenda. But once we're no longer in the news anymore, we'll be put back on the back burner where we belong. So they have the idea, everyone in society, that you don't matter. Police don't believe you matter. Psychologists don't believe you matter. Most doctors don't believe you matter. And in many cases, their parents don't believe they matter. 
the 41% suicide rate of transgenders that attempt suicide, where in the cisgender population it's 1.3. The, the amount of transgender people that are killed to date, 371. And they're not just killed in ways where most people are killed. They're killed in violent ways where they will be burned. They'll be stabbed a hundred times. They'll be beaten to, to where they can't even be almost identified um, by dental records even. You know, they're ran over by cars 14 times and until they're just pulp on the ground. This, this idea is fostered by telling other people that transgenders are in some way wrong. And because of this, we're allowing this idea to foster. And this is the reason why we're having such a problem with transgenders being afraid to even go outside. Because the way feminists talk about being scared and they're worried about men raping and we need to teach men not to rape. Most of you guys know that I'm a MGTOW. I don't believe in that bullshit. That rape culture crap is complete horseshit. But in the case of transgender women, not so much as men, there are some quite a few men that have been killed, but transgender women especially, especially transgender women of color. It's actually 72% of violent crimes towards sexes are, are uh, transgender people, 72% of them. 72% of people killed for, you know, females and stuff like that. It's 72% of those are, instead of gays, you know, it's not gays, it's not lesbians, it's not that. 72% of hate crimes in the United States and the world, 72% are transgenders. So there's an astronomical number of transgenders committing suicide attempts and successful ones. There's an astronomical amount of them that are being killed. They have very few rights because when LGB make laws and bring laws to Congress, very few of them actually will even put anything in there. And if they do, it's bylaws or single lines about transgender people. It's mostly all about gays and lesbians. So very few laws are created and have been created since 1954 when a big sensation was made from one of the first transgender women coming back to America. And transgender people just keep following along and they don't see that they need to leave the community and start their own community because transgender is a gender association whereas lesbian and gay and bisexual isn't that's actually a sexual identity it doesn't have anything to do with gender so we really have no reason to be there because when you're transgender you can be bi you can be trans you can be gender fluid you can be queer so transgender doesn't mean the same thing as LGBT so I believe we should be leaving and that that's the only way that the transgender community will ever get true freedom and get laws passed you know but until that happens People are going to continue to kill us. They're going to continue to commit suicide. The rates are going to go up. They're at astronomical levels, at record highs right now. They're 
they're being I think some of it's being brought about because of the um, gay rights the gay marriage that came out since the gay marriage has been legalized more transgenders have been killed and beaten since then and the transgender bathroom concerns have become huge and all of this is leading to to suicides if you can't even go to a McDonald's and have a hamburger with your family and go to the bathroom what hope is there for a transgender woman if you're just a little girl you know 10 years old 12 years old and you're transgender and all you're doing is sitting in a McDonald's you know or a Chuck E. Cheese and all you want to do is go to the bathroom and you can't unless you go into the opposite gender's bathroom which everybody tells you because you have a penis that's your bathroom what hope is there when these children commit suicide how can you justify them not committing suicide you're making it as difficult as you can for these children to live and survive in society and you're marginalizing them so when they kill themselves it's on you you have to live with that thank you for watching this has been Shinu I'm a male to female transgender and uh, if you got any questions comments leave them in the section below uh, hope you guys had uh, learned something here thank you for watching good night